Hello everyone. Uh, my name is Abhishek Shinde. We are going to see the simple programs of microcontroller as a part of digital electronics. We are going to see three programs in this. Okay, this will be first. We will going. We are going to give the introduction of software and the first program we are going to perform. Before going, before writing or simulating the program, we are going to create the project first so we will we will click over here project new microvision project any name you whichever you want to give okay that digit select okay here you are going to select that mail here you will click on the plus then we are going to select the device okay our device is eight eighty eighty nine C eight three eighty nine C five one. So that we are going to select okay so you will it will ask whether you want to add the startup dot a 51 this is the standard these are the standard functions which we, we can add to our project but visually do we do not add this so i will click on no okay so here you can see that project has been created now we want to write a pro program so here on new i will click this text will be open here i will write very simple program move a comma hash say zero at h move b comma says hash 0 to h then add a comma b and end okay then i will save it i will save this as a uh, dg like add dot asm writing a dot asm is most important i'll save it okay now you can say that see that the colors has been changed now we want to add this file to our project so i will right click on this source group one there you can see the add new item okay but we had actually already created the program so we will click on add existing file to group i'll click that okay you remember the name it is it is dg elect add asm so i will add it okay and i will close it and here you can see that it has been added once it has been added what you are supposed to do you are supposed to right click on that you are supposed to build it you are supposed to write right click on this then build all target file okay so this is the basic program and how to build okay now we want to check whether it is working properly or not for that purpose we are having debugging tool we'll click on debug you will go to the start and stop debugging session obviously we will start this uh, click on this it will start the debugging okay so it is evaluation this software is uh, it, it is for just for uh, teaching purpose so it is evaluation mode so memory has been limited we are not going to bother about it we will press ok now we will enter to the debugging mode okay here you can see that the program which will be there how it will be returned in the memory okay this is our program here you can see the registers are there system registers are there okay now if you want to see some memory location okay so you can go to the memory window and you are going to 
click here here the memory location in this area will be displayed okay this is the memory location but we are not going to going to use this right now just we are going to see how the registers are going to behave okay where now here we are having different different options first is the run in the run whole program will be run in one stroke okay if you want to see how the each uh, instruction is working you can go to the step okay and if you want to if there was a one loop in the program and if you want to perform that loop you could have you could or you can uh, click on this so i want to see step by step how it will be working now once i click see the 8 has been transferred to the a register okay then again the b the 0 2 is copied to b register now i am performing the addition so a plus b is 10 okay so this is 0 a so it is 10 so in the we have seen that in the addition in the arithmetic operation whatever the addition is there it is it will be stored in the a register this you can see by all this now if you want to come out of this you will click on debugging and stop debug okay let's see the subtraction i'm making the changes in the same program you can have this different project for this this program for this okay so i will write here this is our instruction for uh, subtraction subtraction with the borrow okay I will save it then I will right click build it here you can see that zero error zero warning rebuilt zero error zero warning then we have to go to the debug I will click to the debug this is the error okay so we come to the debug window okay a is 8 and b is 2 so let's do this 8 2 now here 8 minus 2 is 6 so if i will do this here you can see that a has been changed to 6 so 8 minus 2 is 6 so this has been stored to the a register this is simple subtraction program okay now suppose i want to do the multiplication okay so i will write here mul okay now here this is the instruction mul a b there is no comma in mul a b uh, in between a and b we do not q comma so it is just an mul a b multiplication a b okay normal process right click build zero errors zero warnings again right click rebuild all targets then go to the debug start debug session okay here we are okay so 8 into 2 is 16 let's see what happens Ten. okay 16 means the 1 0 and therefore the answer is 1 0 okay so this is simple multiplication program again we will come out of this let's try some uh, let's try division okay uh, to have uh, some logic clear i will put a as 7 and b as 2 in this what happen what will happen the a will be divided by 2 and whatever the division is there that will be stored into the a and whatever the remainder will be there that will be stored into b okay again save right click build then build all target files go to the debug start okay so we are here then again one okay so what has happened seven has been divided by two so 
the division is 3 and remainder is 1 that is stored into the big okay this is our program for the division here uh, you should uh, take care while writing addition subtraction division and multiplication that in the add that is a d t and s b p there is a comma between a and p whereas for multiplication and the division there is no comma that is the crucial part you are supposed to remember okay this is our first program in this series of three i hope you understood thank you